I'll be giving out six tips and tricks on how women out there can um, achieve a small waist and a very flat stomach. Now, ladies, tip number one, dieting. Yes, dieting. I know most of you guys are like sick of this word, dieting. Oh my God, I'm tired. You know, I like to eat my food and everything. There is no way you can achieve a flat stomach and a small waist if you're not eating clean. You need to eat right. You need to cut your portion sizes. If you used to eat like a whole bowl of rice, you need to cut it either in half or cut it in four. You understand? And just eat quarter. Now, women need to research. Instead of just being on Instagram and posting people, posting pictures and liking pictures and stuff like that, use your data. Use your Wi-Fi well, okay? Go on Google and research, 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 research about balanced diet, the right food to eat for women to have flat stomach. You'll find it there. Girl, ladies, you need to like pack up on your protein. Okay, let's say you can't survive a day without eating rice. There's some people that can't survive without eating rice. Fine, you can still eat rice but and still maintain a flat stomach. Now, how do you do this? When you're eating, make sure the chicken or the fish is more than the rice you're eating. Have like, um, let's say, a handful of rice on your plate. Now, half of that plate should be packed with protein you understand now the other quarter should be with your own you know like um with vegetables and all those things you need to people don't just wake up and have a flat stomach it takes work okay don't get me wrong there's some women that naturally have flat stomach no matter what they eat i have a friend like that she can eat anything she wants her stomach is still flat but if you're someone like me who needs to watch what she eats to maintain her stomach, then you need to take it very seriously. You know, it takes a lot of um, commitment and determination. And most importantly, you need to control what you eat. Okay, that's number one, diet. Number two, exercise. So many people hate working out. They hate exercising. They think the moment you say exercise, it means you have to go to the gym. It means you need to run a marathon. It means you, you like, it's not like that. I've not stepped foot in a gym for over a year right now. But does that mean I don't work out almost every day? I do. Now, working out can mean anything. Most people will be like, no, I'm too busy. I don't have time to go to the gym. You don't have to go to the gym to work out. You can work out in your bedroom. You can work out on your bed. You can work out in your house. You can work out around your your like your your area you understand now ask me how now everybody should try every day you understand give yourself a minimum of 15 minutes workout it could mean what play music and dance in your living room and sweat just dance jump move shake your body shake your waist move your head just dance play all your favorite songs and dance for a minimum of 15 minutes you will sweat that is a workout Okay, let's say you live in an estate. You can just go to your estate either early in the morning or in the evening. You have a walk or you can run, anyone you're comfortable with. But make sure whatever you're doing is up to 15 minutes. You have a rope, you can skip. After skipping, you can skip in your bedroom, you can skip in your living room, you can skip anywhere you want to, but just skip five minutes, you're jumping, skip, 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 stop. Okay, rest for a minute. You go back another five minutes, you skip, 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 rest for a minute. You go back another five minutes, you skip a minimum of 15 minutes a day. If you can go more, perfect. But you cannot lose belly fat and have a small waist if you don't have at least 30% workout a week. Okay? Dieting is 70% of having a flat stomach. But the other 30% is definitely 100% exercise you need to put some type of exercise in your routine even if you have to go to the gym it doesn't mean you have to go to the gym seven times in a week no you can just go three times a week work out for 30 minutes one hour and that's enough okay that is enough you can just have a walk around your area walk for 15 20 minutes okay look sometimes like i just run around the house 
okay if i if if i want to run and i don't want to go outside let's say it's too cold or it's too hot outside you could just run around your house just run non-stop around your house run to the kitchen the living room the bedroom run just run run back and forth run run you know that is a workout before you know it you start sweating and that is gonna help you a lot okay having sex is also one amazing way of exercising you don't necessarily need to go to the gym have a lot of sex when i mean have a lot of sex i don't mean just lay down there and let your man do the work i mean you need to be active you understand there are sometimes you just you just have so much energetic sex that the moment you're done, like you're sweating, you're panting, like <sighs> it's exercise, it's a workout. As long as your body is moving, you are active and you're sweating, it's an exercise. You get me? Even if your man is on top of you, don't just let him be doing all the work. Wind that waist, wind, grind, move your body. It's an exercise. You are enjoying and you're exercising. You're doing two things at the same time. You get me? Even if you're on top of him, which you should most of the times because that's active. You're on top of him, you're grinding, you're, you're grinding, you're whining, you're bouncing, you're going up and down. Squat. Squat on the D. Why? Like, God, ladies, come on. Sex is one of the best and most effective workout. Okay? Keep it active. Don't be boring. There's so many things you can do in the bedroom that can help you lose weight as well. There are some women that have not stepped foot in a gym for five to ten years, but they're keeping fit. Everything snatch, waist small, everything amazing. You ask them, they'll tell you, I'm having a lot of sex. Number three on our list is what you drink. Yes, it's not all about what you eat, but what you drink. Now, if you are always drinking frizzy drinks, sugary drinks, um, juices from supermarket, mini market, all these juice that are full of concentrate, full of carbs, full of so many sugar. You understand? That is gonna mess up your tummy because you can never have a flat stomach if you are packing in sugar in your body. And oh my god, ice! I know women that chew ice, ice and flat stomach are like hell, heaven and hell, they don't, they don't match, they don't clash like fire and water okay you want to have a flat stomach yet you're obsessed with icy stuff cold stuff or even ice it doesn't work you need to cut down on that if that's an addiction stop it stop drinking cold things especially when you're eating every time you're having a meal make sure you have a hot beverage next to you don't have anything cold okay even if it's water put some lime in the water let it be room temperature do not take cold stuff when you're eating because that doesn't help you burn down the fat. At the end of the day, the cold, the cold stuff you're putting in your stomach is going to make the fat stick in your stomach. Just walk out of your house. I'm sure there's a lady out there selling oranges, mangoes, watermelons, pineapples for cheap price. You buy that, you go home, you make a juice, make a smoothie. You understand? Have some natural stuff in your body. That, th these are the best things for you to do. But just going to a supermarket buying juice because it says orange juice, you think, oh, it's orange juice? No. Read the contents. Just read the amount of calories in that juice. Read how much, like everything you have to read. Most people don't even read. You just go to the supermarket, just grab it. As long as there's a picture on it with nice oranges, you just buy and drink. But you're just piling your body up with sugar. Women should also get used to drinking tea, herbal teas. Herbal tea helps a lot with burning calories from your stomach and helps with bloating. Okay, get buy herbal teas, take teas every time in, in between meals, in the morning when you wake up, before you put anything in your stomach, drink a herbal tea, put lime, put honey in it and drink. You understand? These things help a lot with bloating. They help with flat stomach. Now, anybody that knows me knows that I don't drink water just like that. My water, I put it in a water bottle, put some lime, some ginger, um, cucumber in it. Okay, sometimes I will add strawberries in it and that's it. That's how I drink my water. That automatically helps with bloating. You understand? It helps like make your tummy flat. It just helps. Now, this is for my ladies. I do this as well. Going to the club, popping bottles, popping champagne. Champagne is a disaster when it comes to having a flat stomach. It bloats you. It makes your tummy grow so fat like you're going to hate yourself. I hate drinking champagne. 
okay i know yeah it's cool you snap it you're popping bottles taking pictures and stuff acting like yeah you're a bad bitch and all but it's not good for you if you're trying to um get a flat stomach it's not so what you drink is very important guys taking more natural stuff avoid all these juices and stuff make your own juices get natural things buy fruits you understand make your own juices make your own drinks and avoid cold stuff you know go for, don't ever have a meal without having a hot beverage whether it's just hot water and lime drink it whether it's just whether it's tea coffee whatever it is you understand drink it as soon as you finish eating make sure you drink a hot beverage it helps digest the food and keeps that fat away from your stomach that's number three now number four is fasting yes this might sound crazy but i don't i don't, I don't survive without it you understand fasting has helped me maintain my flat stomach i'm not i don't mean the religious type of fasting where you have to not eat from morning till night no i'm talking about food fasting now this is how it works i have three different types but i'm gonna start with the one that i do now for me first of all society or the world has made it look like it's a must that you eat three times a day breakfast lunch dinner it's a must i don't agree with that theory i don't agree with that at all i believe every human being should eat when they are hungry don't just eat because it's time to eat don't just eat because your friends are eating don't just eat because your mom and dad everybody's eating it's lunchtime it's breakfast time no always always eat when you are hungry when your stomach is grrr, eat then you understand now for me i'm not a morning person so when I eat in the morning, it messes up my entire day. The moment I eat breakfast, I get lazy, I get sleepy, I get tired. So naturally, I hate breakfast. Now, this is a type of fasting I do. I choose, amongst all the three meals a day, I choose the one that I know I can live without. Okay? And that is, I don't know if it's lunch or brunch, but it's between 4, 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. I must eat my meal around that time okay now from morning to 4 p.m i don't care about food from 6 p.m till the next day i don't care about food okay don't get me long, wrong it's not like i don't put something in my stomach first of all i wake up i have my my herbal tea in the morning which is normal i have my fruits so it's sometimes it's either i just eat the fruits like that or i make a smoothie when i have a smoothie in the morning or i just eat some fruits i'm good okay i'm good so after that i'm okay that can take me all through now let's say for you um fruits and smoothies will still not fill you up okay now get some nuts get peanuts you understand or just go on google and research research snacks healthy snacks you can eat you get me you see over 1000 options at least you can have you can have access to 50 of them and no matter what always eat in moderation don't overeat you get me so for me this is what i do I have my smoothies in the morning or my fruits hot drink my hot milk i'm okay for the whole day okay and around four between four to six i need to make my meal now my milk, make sure i prepare my balanced diet um it could be you know sometimes all i have is just chicken pepper soup or i just grill fish or grilled chicken and just eat it with some veggies or you know it just depends um Sometimes I don't even have carbs, you understand? Sometimes I can go for a whole week and not eat any type of carbs, no rice, nothing that has starch or carbohydrates. I just stay away from it, do. And the moment it's six o'clock, no more food for me. I can, obviously, I can have some smoothies if I'm really hungry, a glass of milk, you know, um, a hot beverage, either um, green tea or just just something that's gonna fill me up or i just drink a lot of water that also helps me a lot you know now the other type of fasting is the six hours fasting okay that's six hours between meals now um if at all you are a breakfast person let's say you cannot survive without eating breakfast you wake up in the morning let's say around eight o'clock you have your breakfast now from nine o'clock you don't eat for the next six hours so from 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 till 3 o'clock now 3 o'clock you have your meal but it 
has to be a balanced diet it has to be a healthy meal nothing not a lot of carbs and all these unhealthy stuff no you can just eat but eat in moderation as well so after that six hours let's say um you give yourself another four hours you don't eat anything you can snack you can obviously have snacks in between like i said you know a healthy snack just google about there's so many different healthy snacks you choose the one that you like you can go for that so you can have a healthy snack you can have some milk you can drink some tea and stuff like that for four hours that is from three four five six seven now seven you have your final meal for the day you understand and because it's late at night for me, I'll say just have some grilled chicken, grilled fish, some shrimp, you know, with salad, something, nothing too heavy. Have some avocados and stuff like that. Nothing heavy because it's night. You're going to sleep. You get me? This is another type of fasting. I call it the six hours, the six to four hours fasting. You, 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 you stay away from food for six hours after your, your meal. Then... After you eat, you fast for another four hours, then you have your final meal, and that's it. Now, now, the third and the final type of fasting, which is the hardest one, you know, which I actually do sometimes, is don't eat at all the whole day from morning till six o'clock. No food for you. That is the, <laughs> the hard one. But you can drink liquids. Only liquids, no food. You can have liquids, like you can have some smoothies, that's okay. You can have some just healthy stuff, but no food at all. No, no meal. I mean, no meal. You understand? You can have some healthy snacks. You can have quick oats in the morning. You get me? That's 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 okay. You can have smoothies. You can have some fruits. You can have some peanuts. You can eat those things, like you know, and drink as much as you want. Drink as much water um tea juices that's okay but you have a meal just once a day which is six o'clock you only eat at six and after six you repeat the same thing the next day repeat the same thing the next day that is something um most people do when they want to lose drastic weight in short period of time you get me um so yeah that also works um well that's it for fasting um this is also another amazing way to lose belly fat okay now number five which is my favorite number five is waist training ladies train your waist train this train it <laughs> okay yeah this is this is my personal favorite well waist training you know um a lot of people come on my page especially girls be like, oh my God, you're so fake. You did not achieve your waist with waist training. You went to do surgery, you went to do this, you went to do that. I mean, I don't blame them. I don't really blame them. Which is one of the main reasons why, why, why I'm actually doing this video. Now, anybody out there that believes that waist trainer doesn't help give you flat stomach and a small waist, then I don't know what to tell you, but that means you're really being ignorant okay you're really really being ignorant you're being in denial because waist training is not a trend that's number one number two waist training is not something that just started yesterday or a month ago or a year ago no waist training has been in existence for over 1000 years okay back in the days in the 1800s women were only considered beautiful and sexy based on the size of their waist so yes waist training works because back in the days women that waist train at the end of the day when they take off the waist trainers their waist will be this tiny their waist will be extremely small because of how much they they train their waist okay there is no study out there that says somebody lost her womb because of waist trainers somebody cannot have babies again because of waist training somebody that is not true neither has somebody died from waist trainers it, it doesn't happen i believe it's only lazy people that make excuses about waist training and saying waist train is this waist trainers are this no make your research okay now this is the advantage of waist training number one it helps with your posture it makes you pose nicely and very comfortable and makes you walk straight that's number one number two it snatches your waist and give you an instant flat stomach 
okay let's say you had a big tummy like this the moment you wear your waist trainer everything is snatched and in you you feel me and when you wear outfits and clothes it makes you look better it makes you feel more confident you feel me now number three waist trainers help you with portion control meaning what you eat so it helps with weight loss you know what i'm saying now let's say for example um you want to eat like you're hungry you get me but you don't want to eat too much but if you have a waist trainer on like if i have a waist trainer on right now and i have food in front of me i'm not going to finish that whole that entire bowl because the waist trainers would not let me you get me the moment i have reached my limit i will know if you force and keep eating my dear you're going to vomit you get me so waist trainers help you they help you control your appetite they help curb your appetite they help you with weight loss they help what you take what you eat what you drink it controls you you know what i'm saying because the moment you overdo it you get me you're gonna you're gonna be uncomfortable because it's gonna be extra tight because the moment your stomach start getting bigger you know it's gonna be extra tight it's gonna be very very uncomfortable for you so it helps you it controls you now we are going to our final tip which is liposuction oh yes obviously i was going to talk about this if you want to have a flat tummy and a small waist go and do liposuction okay is this a must no it's not but it's a choice if you can afford it do it if you can afford it do it but like I said, everything I mentioned from number one till now number six, they all go together like this. It's like a chain. You understand? One cannot do without the other. Now let's dig deep into liposuction and surgery, whether it's liposuction, whether it's um, tummy tuck or um, um, the one that they reduce your stomach now. I can't remember the name. But anything that has to do with surgery that has to reduce your stomach you can also do it okay but it's not a fast process you just don't leave the surgery and then boom your stomach is flat immediately no it doesn't work that way now most women that hate waist training that hate anything that has to do with them compressing their stomachs you understand forget about like um doing liposuction if you hate those things because you cannot run away from waist training. No matter what, you can escape it. The moment you enter a doctor's office right now, if I'm lying, Google this or just go and visit your nearest plastic surgeon and ask them all these questions. But the moment you go to a plastic surgeon right now and say, hey, I want to do liposuction. I want to have a flat stomach. The first thing they'll tell you is that, okay, fine, it's possible. But the moment you finish with your surgery, we are going to wrap your stomach for three months. Your stomach is going to be wrapped with a waist trainer. You're going to have to wear a waist trainer to compress your stomach and to give you the final results. You do not get your final results after surgery. No, you need to wrap that stomach. You need to waist train your waist very, very well. Now, after that two months, two, three months, when you have healed, the doctor will tell you that you have to diet and exercise. For you to maintain your flat stomach you get there is no easy way out some people think that oh my god if i have money i'm just going to do my surgery and i'm done no actually it's after surgery that's when it's harder because there's nothing more painful than maintaining that body to maintain that body you, in fact before you even do surgery you're gonna sign a contract and in that contract your doctor is going to tell you you have to wear compression garments, which are waist trainers. You understand? You have to wear them constantly for three months, nonstop. It's going to be in the contract. And you're going to sign a contract that is a must that after you finish with your, with your um, after you've healed, like let's say the pain has gone away, you must diet. You must diet and exercise to maintain your body. Because there's no doctor that wants uh, a client to to finish um surgery you don't tie your waist you don't diet you don't exercise and boom the fat grows back and then you want to go back to the doctor ah doctor i paid all this money and my stomach look it is growing again no the doc you will sign it with him so he knows that he has already told you so there's no escaping
can't, baby. To get a flat stomach, you need to put in work. Even doing surgery after surgery, that's when you need to put in double the effort. You get me? Because you need to maintain that body. You don't expect to spend thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars to go um, have a flat stomach or millions of naira only for you to come out and start doing the same thing you were doing before you got into surgery and then add the fat back. Then what's, then what's the point? Because liposuction is just taking fat out of your stomach. They're not putting something there to say fat should never grow in my stomach. No, they'll take it out. Now, when you're done, if you go back to your, to your, to your previous lifestyle by eating anyhow, drinking anyhow, not working out, not training your waist, the fat is going to grow back. That's why you have a lot of celebrities that um, in a year, they can go do liposuction three times. But for them, they have the money. You and me, we don't have it. Okay? For them, they have the money. They can afford to do liposuction 10 times in a year. It doesn't matter. Because most of them, the moment they finish doing their liposuction, they don't want to waste strain. They don't want to diet. They don't want to work out. They just want to leave the baby girl lifestyle, live the best life, popping bottles, drinking champagne, eating at expensive restaurants, eating whatever, packing in carbs in your body, fats in your body, sugar in your body. Yeah, that fat you took out is going to come back on. You get me? But if you have the money, yeah, you can just go to the doctor and say, yo, take the fat out again. You get me? But you and I, we don't have that. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, at the end of the day, the choice is yours. Either way, you're not escaping anything. If you hate restraining, you hate dieting, you, if you hate working out, you, you hate all these things, then I'm sorry for you. Having a flat tummy is not for you. Just accept your big tummy the way it is and just love it. You get me? Because sometimes i obviously i sell waist trainers and all these body shapers and if a customer comes to me and tell me because i tell you you will see results in a month two weeks within two weeks or in a month now imagine a customer comes to me now and tells me princess i have been waist training for over a month now and i've not seen any changes my question to you is what did you have for breakfast today? Oh, breakfast, I had rice and beans, I had wache, or I had jollof, or I had bread with beans and eggs and 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 and, and, and moi moi. I'd be like, okay, well done. What did you drink with your breakfast? Ah, I drank some Coke or Fanta or Pepsi, or you know, I drank some people drink alcohol for breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Or and then I'd be like, okay, great. What did you have for lunch? Oh, for lunch, I had some fufu banku, you understand? And then some, some, some jollof rice. I'm like, oh, okay. And what did you drink with that? Oh, I drank some, some Pepsi or Fanta or Sprite. I'm like, oh, okay, great. Um, what did you have for dinner? Oh, as for dinner, oh, I had some pasta, spaghetti bolognese. I had some pizza or in, and all of that. I'm like, oh, okay. And what did you drink that food with? Oh, I had some cocktail you know some margarita some you know pina colada and i'm like okay and when was the last time you worked out ah for me working out is not for me oh i know I'm, I'm not working out oh okay and you're telling me now that you bought waist trainers and you have not seen results I, I, in fact i will insult you because you think waist trainer is, is is a magic one you just wear it and boom your your, your stomach disappears no you need to put in work. Everything you're doing, whether it's certain... Some women are like, I'm packing money. I'm not even going to bother myself with waist trainers. I'm just, I'm just saving up to go and do my surgery. It is after you do surgery, that's when you need waist trainer more. Let me tell you this secret. Unless and until you want to go and waste thousands of dollars or waste millions of naira or waste thousands of Ghana CDs to go do surgery only for you to come out and look the same. What's the point? Do you know how many women have done that? There are so many women that I know, obviously I can't mention it. So many women that have got to spend money, thousands of dollars to go and do surgery, flat stomach, you come out. There is no difference. Because when you, do, when you finish your surgery, you did not keep up with the rules. And the rules are tie your stomach, work out, and diet. So 
this is all I have for you guys today. My name is Princess Shingle. I had a lot of fun with you guys. And, you know, get that waist snatch. Get that body snatched. This is my thing. I always tell ladies when they send me messages and say, Oh, Princess, um, I want to start waist training. Or I want to have a flat stomach. Blah, blah, blah. My question to you always is, Why? Why do you want to have a flat stomach? Why do you want to waist train? Why do you want to go do surgery? Why? Okay, the, the why is very important. If you tell me, oh, I want to do it for myself. I want to do it for me. This is what I want to do. It's just like when you want to achieve something in life, like you want to be a business mogul, you want to be, you know, um, a famous actor, an actress and stuff like that, but you're doing it because you want to do it for you. This is, you're passionate about it. The moment you say you're doing it for you, then it's going to work for you. Then you're going to have perfect results. But if you're telling me, oh, I'm doing it because everybody on Instagram has a flat stomach. So me too, I want to be taking pictures on Instagram with flat stomach. Wrong. If you say you're doing it because of your partner, oh, my man always says my stomach is too big. So, you know, I want to do it for him. Then you're making a big mistake. So ladies, always ask yourself this question. Why do I want my body snatched? I know women that have big stomachs, big arms, big, and they're happy. They are comfortable. They are okay. Like, ah, princess, I don't know why you're killing yourself with this waist training. I'm doing it for myself. Well, okay, that's fine. Okay? Because if at all you're doing it for a man, then you're wasting your time. How many men have gone to cheat on their super perfect curvy wives on super enormous big women huh how many so you can't keep a man because of your tiny waist or no if you're doing it for a man that's 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 just a wrong idea do it for you do it for yourself okay it's very 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 important so that's all i have for you guys today if you guys are feeling my waist trainer i'm wearing my snatch zip waist trainer like it's so comfortable a lot of women are like do you breathe do you this of course i breathe like i'm breathing fine like everything is snatched everything is like you know cool and perfect and yeah thanks for hanging out with me today on my channel guys um i'm gonna do more videos explaining more about waist training explaining more about flat stomach you understand so any questions you guys have whatsoever whatever questions you have for me comment below and i will answer you guys okay or you can simply email me on snatch the by princess at gmail.com you can email me i will answer your emails i'll re respond to whatever you want to know or you can dm my business page although i have a lot of dms i'm yet to reply to but you can dm me i can send you voice messages and you know talk to you about so many things so thanks for hanging out with me today i had a great time and i love you guys so much Mwah.